Chongqing in China. With 36 million inhabitants and a land area as large as Austria, it's the largest city in the world. And it's the city with the most congestion in China. Commuters here take an average of 55 minutes per journey. Six hundred and seven thousand cars drive here every day. In order to relieve the traffic network, a giant new traffic junction, which connects a total of eight different directions, is currently being built in the west of the city. This is it. It looks really huge, really high. It's got lots of different levels. To appreciate how big the intersection really is, we turn on the drone camera because only from the air is the size of the intersection really clear. The node point stretches across 400,000 square meters. Although this is quite large, the Frankfurt intersection, the largest junction in Germany, covers about the same area. The difference? There are many more branches in Chongqing a total of 20 on five separate levels. Comparable to this is only the Judge Harry Pregerson crossing in Los Angeles. There are 18 branches, but on only four levels. And how do you drive on the world's largest intersection? We meet an expert to clarify this. The local driving school teacher, Don Yu, has had more customers since the construction of the intersection because the junction is a popular test area. Driving student Chang Yang has her driving test tomorrow. Today, she's meant to prove her skills. Today, we'll drive over the complex intersection. It's also part of the test. Do you think you're up for it? I hope so. Chang Yan has already completed 60 driving hours in city traffic. Today is her first time on the highway. I'm already nervous to drive over such a complicated intersection, especially in the test tomorrow. But if you practice more, you will drive better afterwards. The driver's license is about 700 euros in Chongqing, significantly cheaper than in Germany. However, you don't really have to drive over a highway intersection of this sort back home. Slowly, using the brake. I'm afraid of those tracks. Don't worry, focus on driving. In China, you have to pass a total of three practical exams. Chang Yan has already taken the parking and regular city traffic tests. The highway intersection is the last one. At the next intersection, you have to be extra careful. Yes, there are many cars. Driving instructor Don Yu has to grab the steering wheel. Chang Yan is tense. The heavy traffic scares the student. Where should I go? Go, go. And it gets worse. A full emergency stop in the middle of the highway. She would have failed in tomorrow's test. Driving instructor Don Yu maneuvers the car from the intersection with his hand on the steering wheel. This five-story intersection is the tallest and most complicated one in China. The cars come from eight different directions. Driving on this intersection is very complicated and tough. You have to think about where you're going, which lane you're taking, whether to use your indicator lights or not. Otherwise, an accident will happen. We hope for her she'll do better in tomorrow's test. How do people work on and under the largest intersection in the world? Only 150 meters away from the intersection, there's Mr. Zhao's car repair shop. 
His shop has been here for the past 20 years. Since the intersection was established, the business has been doing much better because there's a lot of clientele close to the ramp. It's going fine, especially because many cars pass by. If something breaks, they come here for help. I'm happy to work next to the intersection. He's not the only one working here. Also around the intersection, there's still plenty of building going on. It's going to be even bigger. On the north side, another four-lane road is under construction. It's eventually going to connect north and south Chongqing. The construction costs around 8 million euros. The challenge? This section is located in the middle of a mountain range. This makes the work much more difficult. It's not that easy to transport the building materials here. Seven days a week, nine hours per day, they dig and level the terrain. The name of the new road, Fumin, that means the convenience of the people. The giant crossing is great for the motorists, but what about those who live here? We see people running over the highway again and again. Unthinkable in Germany. Why are you walking here? It's illegal, but people live everywhere around here. There are no pedestrian paths, but a lot of homes. And how do people live around the largest intersection in the world? Only 200 meters away from the giant intersection, Ms. Yun has her apartment. Together with her husband, Ji Chang, she has lived right next to the intersection for seven years. Ji Chang worked as a graphic artist for 40 years and bought his own house with his savings. Today, however, they live in this 55 square meter apartment on the 28th floor. That's relatively normal for China. But why did they swap their house for the apartment right next to the intersection? Our house was there in the middle of the construction side area, right there where the highway was to go. Moving here was a good option for us. When the excavators arrived, the Yuns accepted the government's offer and moved into the replacement apartment. The construction work on the intersection has lasted seven years. In 2019, it should be ready. This also means construction noise seven days a week. We measured 80 decibels, as loud as a moving truck. Yes, but the noise is not that big of a deal. The intersection has made our life easier, and the neighborhood is nicer here. In fact, the drive to the city center takes only half the time nowadays. Mr. Yun has to visit his sick father every day. For this, it's enough to drive along the entire traffic junction on his tuk-tuk. For him, the intersection is therefore a good thing. It used to take over an hour. Today, it only took me about 40 minutes. So if something urgent happens, I can get to my father quickly. To make sure the intersection isn't just practical, but beautiful as well, dozens of gardeners work under the junction to turn the brown earth into a green oasis. It's heavy work, since the rocky ground offers plenty of resistance. But it's not just about beautifying the intersection. I think it's good to plant flowers here. That improves the air quality. 20,000 square meters of green will reduce air pollution in the future. Even if many more plants are needed for better air quality, the people of Chongqing benefit from the world's largest intersection.